Hi there everyone and welcome to How to Crochet a Fried Egg. This fried egg has been requested more than once so I've created and refined this fun pattern just for you. Let's get started. You're going to need some yellow yarn, some white yarn, a crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. The yarn that I've chosen to work with is a eight ply yarn. In the UK it's sometimes referred to as DK yarn and in the US medium weight yarn. The crochet hook I've gone for is a 3mm, 3mm hook. In the UK it's uh, I believe a, a size 11 and in the US a size 2 or C. The hook is a smaller hook than you would normally use for this weight of yarn. This is deliberate to get a firmer finish. However, if you feel more comfortable increasing the hook size, it won't affect the pattern. The finished egg will just be a little looser. Taking your yellow yarn, we're going to create a magic loop. And you simply do that by wrapping it around like so. We're going to take our hook through the middle of the loop, like so. Yarn, pull this one through. Can be a little tricky. And we just simply seal that magic loop off by pulling through a single crochet. And this is what you should have. If you notice that this tail end, when you pull it, the loop will get smaller. We're going to crochet 10 single crochets straight into the middle of the loop there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's our first one. We're going to do that nine more times so we have ten in total. nine, one more, ten. So this is what you should have on your magic loop right now. What we're going to do is take the tail end here, just going to pull that tight. As it pulls tight, the beginning of your yoke is starting to take shape. We're going to work the yoke part of the egg in a, in a spiral into this first stitch here. Put your hook through both like that. And we are going to do one single crochet. Into the next one, we are going to do two single crochets. What we're doing is increasing the number of stitches to 23. We're going to do that by the pattern of 1, then 2 into 1, then 1, then 2 into 1. We do this for approximately 2 rounds, so I'll just continue now. 1 and 2 into the same. This is increasing the size of our circle until we've reached 23 stitches. The next one, one. So now we've just gone and done one round. You should have approximately 15 stitches. So we keep increasing for one more round. What you can do now is just check around the outside. We'll just count them. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-two, twenty-three. 
So now I have 23 stitches. Simply now need to do one single crochet into each of these stitches and we're going to do three rounds. If you've got a stitch marker this would be a good opportunity to pop it in here otherwise I've just got a contrasting piece of yarn that I'm using as a marker. Keep doing single crochet. We're going to do single crochet just one into each stitch and we're going to come back to that blue marker three times. We've done one round already and it's starting to curl down nicely. So we just need to do two more rounds to complete our yoke. After two rounds you can see that the little egg yolk dome is really working out nicely. We almost finished the yolk. I'm up to the blue marker and I'm going to yarn over my hook I'm going to bring the yarn through like so but don't finish the stitch. This is how we're going to change colours and have a neater finish when we do so. I've changed over now to my white yarn and we're now going to uh, finish off the yoke and we're going to begin the white of the egg. We're going to complete that stitch, yarn over and we're going to bring it through those two yellow stitches and as you can see we've now got a neat finish and beginning to our egg white. What you can do now is you can remove your stitch marker. We might just place it again where we begin the white. Now we're going to begin the white of the egg. For one round we're going to crochet just into the top part of the stitch. Go into the front, one of the top stitches there, and you'll see why. But just for this first row, two single crochets into the first stitch, like so. And again, remember, we are going to go just into the top of that stitch. Okay. The increase pattern that we are using is every second stitch we increase for this first row. The first stitch is two single crochet into one and now we're going to do one single crochet. We repeat this pattern back to the beginning. So. Two one and remember we're just going into the top part of that stitch. This is where you should be up to and the other side should look like that. There's our marker just to show that we've done one row we are going to increase by crocheting uh, two single crochets into every fifth stitch. We're going to do this 15 times. I've made a, a sheet for each of you to print out and I'll be putting a link in the description below. This time we're crocheting into the whole stitch. Please feel free if you do print out the sheet uh, that I've got uh, 15 little circles so each time you increase you can tick one off and that will help you keep track of uh, where you're up to. One, two, three, four and remember this time you are going through 
both the loop again. This is the fifth one, we increase. We do two single crochets into the one space, like so. So that's one out of the 15 increases that we're doing. Just continue now. Four, and in the fifth one, we increase. One, two. So we've done two increases. I'm just marking it off on the sheet too. One, two, three, four, five. In this stitch, we are doing two. So far, that's our third increase, and we can see that the uh, egg white of our fried egg is growing quite nicely. This will show you where your egg, fried egg, should be up to. We've increased quite a lot around here, around the edge. Now we're going to continue increasing. This time we're only going to increase every 15th stitch and we're going to repeat that eight times. So if you look on your sheet, I've also got the uh, eight circles and you can tick off each one of those circles as you do an increase, just to help you keep track. Now we're going to do the second part of the egg white and increase one stitch every 15th stitch. One, two, three, 14, and 15. So if that's the 15th stitch I've just done. So now I'm going to do a second single crochet and that's one increase, so you can mark off on your sheet one. So I'm just going to continue now doing the next seven increases, one every 15th stitch. So as you can see now, this egg is really taking shape. This is our final increase. So we, that was the 15th stitch and I'm doing an extra single crochet in there. This is the exciting bit. Your fried egg is almost finished. We've just finished doing our eighth increase uh, of every 15th stitch. So now your fried egg should be at this stage and I'll just turn it over too. So this is the fun row. This is what I've called the wobble row. Shaping uh, the wobble row is where you can really freestyle and uh, make it up. But for those that would like to have a pattern to follow, um, I'm going to run through the one that's on the sheet now. This is the final row, and when you finish these stitches, your fried egg will be complete. We're going to do seven single crochets. And seven. One half double crochet, like so. Yarn over into the next stitch yarn over, pull through. So you now have three on the hook, three stitches on the hook. We yarn over one more time and we pull it through all three loops. Now we're doing the same stitch but we're doing two of them into the one. We're going to be doing some uh, 
different sized stitches to give the edge of our egg a rough sort of a wobbly look. The next stitch one half DC. Eight single crochets. I'll put it up on the um, link below. Um, we're, also, we're, we're just following this pattern. going to be doing three half double crochets. Yarn over through, yarn over pull up, yarn over pull through. Now we're doing two double crochets but we're doing them together into the next stitch. Yarn over through there, the next stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two stitches only. That leaves you with two, yarn over pull through two. This is a longer stitch as you can see and we're building up a nice little wobble on the edge. To finish off the edge of our fried egg we're going to do three slip stitches into the next three stitches. Go into the middle of the stitch right here. So we go through, we yarn over but with a slip stitch you pull it all the way through straight away. It's a very flat stitch and it's a good way of tapering off the end of a, a row. That's two and three. That's our final slip stitch. You can remove your stitch marker. We can cut our yarn. Remember to leave a little tail to help you sew it in with the bodkin or the uh, tapestry needle. Yarn over and pull your thread all the way through like that. You're finished with your hook now. Give that a little pull. And there you have it. If you just use your uh, tapestry needle now and uh, tie in these loose ends. Finished on the back quite neatly. I hope you've enjoyed my crocheted fried egg tutorial as much as I have bringing it to you. And remember, happy crocheting and bye for now. It's lots of fun with your crochet fried egg to remember that you can always make some green eggs. I don't have any green ham at the moment, but it's always fun to mix it up a little bit.